So um, it's basically called the care and feeding of your clients websites. Um, I started doing this because I, at one point I kind of turned around, looked through my file drawer and realized I have a lot of WordPress sites and people are, you know, not prone to looking into their website dashboard all the time. So it's good to help them do that. Um, so even when a client says they want to manage their WordPress site on their own, they never really seem to do it. Um, you're lucky if they can even rem remember the URL to log in. Um, so if you've ever had a client call you at 10 o'clock at night after they've tried updating a theme or a plugin because they saw that big pretty update button and now all they see on their home page is a string of PHP and the word error, that's always fun. Um, or how about when they send you that frantic email about their site looking weird and you go to their dashboard, you realize they haven't touched their site in quite some time. Um, so if you wish there was a way you could make sure you keep all the sites um, you created running smoothly um, and, and make some money, this is sort of something to help you along. So, that, so I basically I offer a maintenance, uh, maintenance service to my, my clients. I'm going to try that. Oh, okay. Oh, it was on the screen? It was working before? Yeah. Yeah. Her computer went to sleep, so try computer side. We may try to plug it in again. Back. Thank you. <laughs> and let's try a few present. Let's see if that looks okay. So, who needs WordPress maintenance services? Um, so, you have you know the guy who's too busy running his company. You have the per lady who's too busy running her shop, and you have the poor guy who doesn't know how to turn his computer on at all. So, mostly you know mainly everybody needs maintenance services, even if they don't think they do. So how to present your services. Um, I have a page on my website, and I basically just say, hey, is this your website with the check engine light on? Um, just, you know, I offer, Jen's Web offers maintenance services. And down below, there's um, two different forms. They can sign up for the basic plan or the super plan. And basic, the basic plan is like basic babysitting services. Um, I go in and I update your plugins. And the super, excuse me, the super plan is security backups, um, which leads to this. And I kind of present this sometimes as saying, get on the bus. Backup security, is security and updates. You know, backups on a regular basis to make sure your work doesn't disappear. Um, good site security, you know, it's a lot more cost effective. I mean, I have a case study. I have a client from the summer. They wanted to have super cheap hosting, so they went with um, a hosting company which shall remain unnamed. Um, their site got hacked to ribbons and they came to me and they said, please fix our site, please fix our site. And I said, you know, this is going much deeper than just your Surface WordPress site. Um, you should really pay for a security service. And they said, we don't want to pay that, it's too expensive, can't you just fix it? And that kind of mentality ended up costing them about a hundred bucks more than they had just signed up with the, host, the security service that I was trying to get them to sign up for. But if they had gone with a company like WP Engine or A2 Hosting uh, or SiteGround, you know, that wouldn't have happened in the first place. So um, if someone's gonna have you know, a cost-effective hosting company, I tell them you really should get you know, the full security suite. Um, so the easy, it's the easiest thing you can do to keep your site safe is to keep everything updated. Because even though it's annoying, when you get that fifth email of the week saying Yoast SEO is updated, it's because they probably found a security loophole. Um, 
So there's two types. Um, this is a way you can market to clients. You know, level one is just keep it simple. You know, just go in and update their their stuff for them, um, plus monthly backups. And level two is you know all the stuff that's in level one, plus you know Word WordFence Premium, which is a plugin that I like to use for security, and weekly backups. So there's, there's just more, and I tend to recommend that for clients that have you know sites that where they blog more than once a month. Um, so it's the, this is the toolbox, I, I call it. This is the kind of the suite that I like to use. Um, so the first is, you know, WordFence. And WordFence has um, a free version, which is, does a pretty good job. Um, the premium version, it's, it's worth it because they'll definitely do uh, more in-depth monitoring. Uh, Jetpack, and Jetpack is pretty good for a lot of things, but I like it because it tells me when a site has gone down so the client doesn't catch me by a surprise at the grocery store. And usually it comes back up, but if it doesn't, Jetpack will let you know it's still down, you know, get up, it won't get off the mat, and you have to go in there and do some work. And there's Updraft, Updraft Plus, um, Manage WordPress Worker, which is like a dashboard for everything. And this is actually not a WordPress thing, it's just um, something I use called FreshBooks, and that lets you do all the regular um, billing, routine billing. So every month the, the little invoices go out to the clients like little ravens and I don't have to think about it, which is great. Um, so I'll start with the WordFence plugin. Um, that's the website up there in blue. And there's free and premium versions available. I tend to wait and get a bunch of clients at once uh, that want to sign up and then I get the, the bulk pricing for the premium keys. And you can see the different um, the two different versions. Um, the free version is, is a pretty good deal, you know, because it tells you that, you know, oh, by the way, this plugin needs to be updated. Um, there's a malware <laughs> scanner that you can run. You can repair files. So it's usually like one of the first things I install on a new project is uh, WordFence. Um, the premium version is great because it gets you uh, more in-depth scanning. It lets you know when there's spam going on um, or Something like, excuse me. Oh, Lord, mercy. All right. Um, Jetpack, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Jetpack. Um, and I like it because you know, it monitors the site for downtime. Uh, excuse me for one second. Um, there's premium features and the personal business. Um, so. You know, if, it's, if you get enough clients together and you can kind of pool the resources, it's worth it to do things like this. And there's Updraft Plus, which is great. Um, it runs the backup and it lets you uh, back up into the cloud directly into Dropbox or Google <laughs> Drive or Amazon. Um, and it's, again, it's one of those things I just automatically install in the client site. Um, it really helps. Um, the premium version will back up to more places and help you duplicate or migrate sites, which is pretty great. And this is the, um, the system called Manage WordPress, and it's basically an online dashboard that if you have like a bunch of different, um, a bunch of clients and you just wanna make sure you get them all at once, you can sign in, sign in to your account at Manage WordPress, and you can, they've partnered with GoDaddy too, by the way, so that's led to some sort of pricing structure craziness. Um, it's sort of a la carte, but it's, it's, it's a good deal. I mean, if you want to just make it easy and just log into one place and do it. I personally like to log into the actual website just because if anything's going on that's you know funky, I want to know about it. If I update something and I get that dreaded white screen of death um, with the little weird line of PHP, I want to be able to see that. I don't want my client to see that. And the, this is the last tool, it's, the, it's FreshBooks, which is the accounting software that I use. It's online, it's web-based. Um, it's kind of like QuickBooks. Um, but the thing I like is they do the recurring profiles. So you can bill clients quarterly, you can bill clients monthly. Um, but the nice thing is it's all sort of automated and then the client can just, they can set up a recurring payment and they can just pay you off a of PayPal or the credit card so you don't have to stuff envelopes or annoy them or anything. So a lot of times I get people that are skeptical. Um, 
they're like, well, you said WordPress was free, so why do I have to pay you to maintain it? And it's like, well, you're welcome to learn how to update a plugin. You know, it's not that hard, but if anything goes wrong, you're going to have to come to me anyway, and also um, you're going to have to remember to go to your website and log into the dashboard. And so a lot of times I get people um, to just say, just do it for me. I am busy running my business. I don't have time to think about it. So there's the economic factor. Um, you know, again, like the story I was telling you about the, the website that got hacked. You know, it's people say, oh, it's, you know, I don't charge very much. I charge like 15 bucks a month for the basic plan and 30 bucks a month for the, um, the super plan. And it's basically a way to sort of make it easier for people to, to swallow and say, well, all right, 50 cents a day. You know, I, I keep saying a dollar a day keeps the hackers at bay. You know, thir it's 30 bucks a month, a dollar a day. Um, and there's the emotional factor. You know, the client can just, you know, they, they're relaxed. They know that their website's in good hands and they're not gonna get any surprises or anything. And there's just the preparedness factor. You know, if you're hosting, uh, you have a hosting problem, you know, your intern gets the email about renewing the hosting and she blows it off or he blows it off. Next thing you know, your website's not there anymore because the hosting company canceled your account. Or if you get the person that decides to get fancy and do something in the dashboard and their site disappears, they'll have a backup. You know, they have a backup wherever you stored it off-site. Um, so there's just some good practices to make it easy to maintain the website. Um, <clears throat> there's like the child theme. So even if you have like a premium theme or something, you know, off a of theme forest or what have you, it's e much easier to just create a child theme right out of the gate and keep that going. And that way, if you hit the update button and then you remember that you custom coded something into the header, you won't have that weird feeling in your stomach. Um, you should routinely install um, at least the free version of WordFence, just so you can show clients maybe um, if they say, oh, how many updates do you really have to do? You can show them the list. You know, hey, WordFence emailed me like five times about your site this week, so you really do need to do some maintenance. Um, and the other thing, too, a lot of clients will ask me, you know, at the first meeting, do you, do you handle maintenance? And I say, yeah, I, I do. Um, so yeah, I just put that right in their proposal. And so they can anticipate the cost going forward and they really appreciate that. Um, I also have a client mailing list and I have a newsletter they can sign up for. So that way if you're gonna run a special or you just wanna keep them updated, you know, check your, check your website to see if you have this plugin, let me know, that sort of thing. It's a great way to keep, um, keep everyone in the loop, so to speak. So that's the end of this presentation. So I'm open for questions. <laughs> yes. How does WP manage charge? That's a good question. And I tried to look that up today to put it on the slide, and I would have run out of space on the slide because they do this crazy, like, a la carte thing. But you can do bundles. So you can, like, buy bundles of management accounts, and there's some kind of weird algorithm they have going on there. But if you go to the, I'll put the website up. Um, it's orion.managewp.com. Um, there's uh, free tools, there's premium tools, um, but it's basically they're trying to, they have a, this article, the um, Manage WordPress Introducing Bundles. I would check that out because they, they explain it. it used to be free to yeah, I know, sorry. <laughs> Yes. So, do you not purchase um, web hosting backups for your client? Do you do it on your own? I do it on my own just because um, sometimes clients just don't get the whole like um, usefulness of maintaining their hosting, <laughs> and they forget to pay or they don't want to pay, and then they say, "Where's my account?" So that's why I like to have independent backups just for those special times when they decide their hosting account is extra. Because <laughs> the web host won't guarantee the backup. That happens too, yeah. And they all, they, sometimes they want to charge extra for that too. So, yeah, that's a good point. Um, yes? Well, all of those entries, 
extra special that you're convincing people to uh, uh, use. Mm -hmm. So if they go with the premium, they're paying the premium in addition to paying you. Um, well, they're, they're paying me the monthly fee. So for example, the, the work pass, uh -huh. the premium was I think $71 a year. So like, if I were your client, I'd pay the $71 a year for work pass plus your 15 bucks a month? Oh, no. Actually, what happens is I, I buy the bundles in bulk. Oh. So what happened last year was I got, you know, four different clients who wanted the premium plan that I, off, I offer. So I was able to get um, a bulk discount on buying what they call the uh, WordFence API keys. And that way I was saving, I was getting, I was fronting the money for them and they were paying me like through the monthly payments. But I'm not like charging the client to buy the, the API key and then charging the 30 bucks a month. It's that, that API key is included in the price. I should have priced it more <laughs> in retrospect, but you know, it's it's one of those things like I just wanted to start introducing this to clients and seeing what they what the threshold is for people. So yes sir. You you mentioned um WordFence has this it sounds like the same feature that WordPress <coughs> core has, like these are the these are the updates that are available. Mm -hmm. um, does it does WordFence um address situations like plugins going away from the directory and just being ghosted or like what's what's the difference between what WordFence does in terms of an update list and what Core does? Well WordFence um, it, it notifies you. It sends you an email. So like today um, uh, I won't sh I won't it's too gruesome I won't show you but usually I woke I wake up to an inbox it's like you know WordFence security alert this plugin has to be updated on these 10 sites today <laughs> um, and they also have a really good blog about site security. And they will let you know, oh, by the way, that, that you know, widget, there, has, have people heard about that widget, that um, widget plugin that was like, you know, hide and, hide and show widgets conditionally? That got hacked and it was like still on the repository and people were still downloading it. And it was like creating a back door for people to get spammed. Um, WordFence knew about that and it sends you the email. It says, hey, you should check out and see if you have any of these plugins on your sites. Um, so that's, that's why I like to use it because they're very proactive and they, they email you when stuff has to get done. So, um, any other? <coughs> yes, sir. Uh, what are your thoughts on auto-update? Um, I mean, it's been in WordPress for a while now. Obviously, mm -hmm. 